Well, hello! Welcome to a new video series on my channel in which I'm going to build yet another weird instrument. The nickel harpa. I hope I'm saying that right. I googled it. You guys may remember that I built a hurdy-gurdy a while ago. A medieval instrument that is a predecessor of a modern day violin. I built a DIY kit made by a Dutch engineer which is called the Nerdy Gurdy. And apparently this guy really likes engineering very affordable versions of otherwise very expensive folk instruments. Because there is another one you can build and that is the Nickel Harpa. A nickel harpa is a traditional Swedish instrument which is quite similar to the hurdy-gurdy but also to the violin. But maybe it's even more like a violin. Both the hurdy-gurdy and the nickel harpa have melody strings and rows of keys on which you play. The main difference is that the hurdy-gurdy has a wheel, which you crank, and the nickel harpa is played with a small bow. A very cool feature of the nickel harpa is that it has a bunch of sympathetic strings, which is resonating while you play. And this gives the instrument a rather ethereal, dreamy sound. But then it also sounds like a violin. So that should be really interesting. By the way, this nickel harpa design is called the nerdy harpa. I mean, really fitting. All right, so let's get started, shall we? Let's roll the time lapse.
All right, and here is my half finished nickel harpa. Correction, nerdy harpa. It is a pretty long instrument, as you can see. I'm not really sure if real nickel harpas are longer than this or maybe equally long, but I guess I'll find out someday. Okay, about building this. So far, it wasn't hard at all. I only started last week and now I'm halfway done. But I think the hardest part is yet to come because the next step in the process is a bit daunting. Um, next, I have to bend the top plate. And the top plate is this. Just like how a violin body has a curve to it, this one needs to be curved too. And to do that, I need to soak this part in water and then bend it using cable ties. It sounds quite scary, but it should be doable, I guess. And then it's time for painting. This will be a three-part video series. In the next video, I will attempt to bend the top plates and paint the instruments. And in the last video, I will finish the instruments and try to play it. I am so curious for the sound of this. So this should be a really fun project. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.